morning everybody and welcome to the welcome to Cologne. Today we're gonna take some photos of this giant. Okay, so I live in Cologne, but I'm gonna look at this like I would any type of travel photography. I really enjoy going to a place and just walking around and snapping, but also I like to put a little bit of research into places, seeing how the best way to capture different things is and, and tell a little bit of a story behind something. Uh, so this is what we're going to try and do today with the, with the cathedral. One of the first things I would look for here is, with a little bit of research, is just the size of it. I mean, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's one of the tallest church buildings in the world, if not the tallest. It's like 157 meters tall and it pretty much stands out everywhere in the city. It's also been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996 and its size and scale is, is part of the reason for that. It's really, really impressive. So that's one of the first things we try and look for, uh, try and capture the size of it in some photos. Um, different ways to do that, of course. I like to try and find some places where it stands out and you can see it in the background, like amongst its surroundings, add a little bit of scale. And then another thing is just to compress foregrounds and backgrounds and, and and, and show things that way. Let's see what we can do. And um, yeah, let's get going. I always like to try and shoot the surroundings a lot too, rather than always just focusing on the cathedral itself, you know? A little bit of a story there usually, so I, I try to keep an eye out for that sometimes. So now we're across the bridge and yeah, it's actually quite noisy here. Maybe I should find somewhere else. I also like to take pictures of the surroundings. I also think that's important too. The story, you know, not always just shooting the dome itself, kind of thinking of the, the wider photo story a little bit. And I mean, that kind of brings us on to the next thing. So if I was concentrating on something, another thing to shoot, uh, I'd be looking at like the little details. Because a building like this is just full of them. It has like so much history, you know, so many little bits and pieces that can tell the story. So I think it's really important to focus on those. Get some shots, some nice small details. So for example, the first cornerstone of this building was laid like around 1200, I think. And it laid unfinished for 600 years. It wasn't finished until the 18, 1800s. So, I mean, I think that's something that you could look at, you know. So for now, let's try and go and take some shots where we're maybe looking at the old side and the new of this building. Try and focus on the little details and uh, see where we can take it.
now we're at the front of the cathedral. Can you see? I think maybe it's a good idea to start looking at scale again, because when you're here, you can really see how big it is. Scale, details. I'm gonna try and capture a little bit of boat if I can. Wow, this thing is amazing. Okay, so size and details are all very good, um, but there's one thing I always like to look at a bit more than anything else. You've probably seen me doing it already, actually, in some of the POV footage, but it's like looking for how um, a building like this interacts with the city, right? So, like Cologne Cathedral here, it's very, very famous. It's by far the most famous landmark in the city. I'm not a local, but I'm pretty sure a lot of locals will tell you that it's definitely... Um, something that the city is proud of. Anybody that's ever been to Cologne will know that basically as soon as you step out of the train station you see it. No matter where you go in the city you can almost, it stands above the entire skyline. So I think with buildings like that that's important, you know. Trying to find a way to show that in photography I feel like is something that will take things to the next level. This is usually like how photos interact with people, with the surroundings, reflections, uh, how it fits into the street, views of the of the building, popping over buildings or, or stuff like this. Yeah, I, I think if you can try and find some photos like this, with a building like this, anytime you're traveling or, or doing anything like that, it's um, it can really make a big difference. Mm -hmm. This kind of stuff I usually find from, from re a little bit of research beforehand, that's the only thing. To take those last shots maybe, I mean it borders on street photography I guess. Um, so you can, you know, you can just have fun with it. But also I like to do a little bit of research as well beforehand. Google some things, maybe a little bit of history on the city and then we can find out all about all of these types of things. Photos that are apart, 
of the city with people, with streets, alleyways, things that give the feeling of, of a building like this really being in the city. No matter where you go, I think you can find buildings like this or landmarks like this. It's a, a bit more fun, a bit more creative, whether you're doing it for yourself or for, for anybody else. So there we go, first YouTube video done, photographing the tallest cathedral in Europe, <laughs> at least according to Wikipedia anyway. If you didn't try, I plan on uploading a video once a week. I plan on taking the channel serious. I want it to be a combination of things I enjoy. Photographs, videos, storytelling, travel, a little bit of history maybe, all that kind of stuff. Similar style videos to today, so thank you for any support. This is my first video and it really means a lot. And please like and subscribe. I'll see you next week.